Hello everyone, my name is Fletch uh, and I'm here today to talk about the wave, right? And the wave is something that most bikers do uh, when they meet each other on the road. Um, you know, it could be either a wave like this or it could be a wave hand down or it could be two fingers down on the road. So the two fingers meaning uh, ride safe, two wheels on the ground uh, and, and so forth. Now, uh, I, I know that it's really big in the United States and uh, a lot of people do it when they see another biker. It, it doesn't matter which make. Uh, and I have of course encountered that uh, quite a fair bit uh, going across to uh, Malaysia and towards Thailand. Uh, either we would slow down or uh, and they would wave and then bike and pass us. Or if I'm passing a bike, uh, I would slow down just a bit and uh, wave to them. Uh, either of the waves, either a hand wave or normally the two finger down, which means two wheels on the ground. Now the reason why I'm talking about this is because I, I think it's a good thing to do. Uh, it is a um, good practice because what it is is that it promotes uh, the biker community and uh, of course it's it's the nice thing to do right you say good morning to everyone or good afternoon I think it's the only, it's the least that that you can do uh, in greeting uh, someone it's uh, about respect right and uh, one of the things I noticed here in Singapore, while riding in Singapore, um, there's not a lot of it. There's probably a couple of reasons uh, for that. Uh, probably because, one, this is a small country and as you can see, uh, there's a lot of bikers. It's not like uh, you don't see a lot of bikers. It's not like uh, in the United States where you have large lands and huge highways and it's not often that you see a biker, but here, uh, it, and, and especially in certain parts of Asia, it's your only, it's one of your only modes of transport. Uh, Malaysia, especially, it's a lot of uh, motorbikes that, or a lot of people that use motorbikes for their mode of transport. Ooh. In Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, and and, and that part of uh, of the world, uh, riding a motorcycle is a mode of transport, um, and. A lot of times, you see more bikes sometimes, especially in Vietnam, than you see uh, motorcycles. And the tendency is not to, uh, I mean, to go about their ways, right? They're not going to uh, you know, wave at everybody. And then, if, you know, I think they'll get, their hands will get tired by the time they're done, at the end of, before they even reach for work or wherever because they'll be waving non-stop. So I think it's it's probably one of those reasons. It's not a big culture to wave in Singapore. Although, that being said, uh, there are some bikers that do it. Normally the bigger ones, right? Uh, those that are above a thousand cc. Most of them would actually wave. Uh, Harley riders in general will wave to each other. Although I have met a couple that you know, just completely ignores you. So I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna wave and completely ignore. <laughs> I'm gonna try this experiment in a little bit uh, again. Maybe he didn't see me, uh, but like I said, uh, it is not normal. Um, it's not something that everyone does and then I think because of the, the traffic nope. <laughs> I think a lot of people are just concentrating on their ride more than anything else you know but I think it's, it's a good thing to do I think we should be encouraged to do it it doesn't matter what make you ride I don't care to me, is you're on two wheels, I'll wave to you. Uh, done it many times uh, on the road, Malaysia especially, because uh, you know you see different types, and different makes, and different sizes as well. You know, even though it's uh, like I said in Malaysia, 
uh, motorcycles are a mode of transport and a lot of times uh, they travel from state to state uh, on those little 150 cc's or 200 cc bikes and, and you'll see them on the road doing the best that they can and the house to wave it doesn't matter right and you'll see them waving back which is really cool um, but I think it's a form of respect you know, uh, in a situation like this, you can see it's heavy traffic, um, and I don't. I think most for most for the most part, I think people are just concentrating on on their journey and uh, and of course safety rather than you know slowing down and uh, giving the wave. Uh, I encourage it. I think people should do it. People in Singapore should do it more. Uh, not just the Harley riders, uh, but uh, but in general, the, the the motorcycle community in Singapore is a very tight knit community. They don't they don't look at marks uh, and makes you see there's already so many motorcycles, right? Uh, they don't look at marks. They don't look at uh, the type of person you are. They can't see it behind the helmet anyway, right? You're just a rider. And, you know, the, so long as you're a motorcyclist, uh, and say if you're getting to your bike at the car park, uh, it's you always end up striking a conversation with another biker, no matter what he's riding, it doesn't matter, right? And, and that's a good part, and we're always looking out for each other, if anything happens to our motorcycles in a parking lot, uh, they will let you know, most of us uh, are in, in contact, we're all neighbours anyway. Right, it's a neighborly thing, neighborly thing to do. That's the kind of respect that we should be showing each other. Uh, and I just wish that it was a bit more prevalent here in Asia. Uh, like I said, maybe across the border, Malaysia, Thailand, but definitely not in Singapore. Uh, I don't see other bikers waving to each other. Now, should I or shouldn't I lane split? I shall try. Turn this truck. Hmm. I'll take this one more opportunity to see if I can spot a biker and wave to him. And see what happens. Probably on the highway might be a little bit better, I suppose. A little side note, uh, the view that you're getting from the front is from my uh, Senna 10C. Still trying to get it right. Hopefully uh, the, the visuals are good. And I hope that uh, this setting this time uh, and the position of the mic uh, also helps. Uh, that the audio also would have been improved. Right, so we're heading onto the highway now. And, uh, I see a couple of bikes there. Let's see if I can get a wave. I think it's important that uh, we all acknowledge our presence, uh, even if the cages don't. <laughs> That's one. Uh, and like I said much earlier, I think the most important thing is about respect. Respect for each other, uh, respect for what we do. Um, and, you know, building that community on the road, even though uh, you may not know each other. Uh, get to the side here. Nice one. But I think uh, I think it's uh, an over thing. I did it on purpose anyway to really get his attention. Uh, and it was a nice thing that he uh, that he waved. Right. So that's about
about the biker community. Anyway, uh, don't leave your comments before. I'd really like to hear a little bit more about uh, your um, experiences and, and your opinions. So please leave your comments below. Uh, don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button and uh, of course don't forget the notification button to let you know when I'm putting out a new video. Thank you very much for listening and you guys have a great journey ahead.